This video is about direct inverse variation. Direct and inverse variation function f of x equals a times x to the nth power. n is integers. When n is negative, the y-axis as the vertical asymptote line for this inverse variation. Let's talk about direct variation. y equals a times x to the nth power. n is a positive integers. We call it a direct variation, also known as a direct proportion. We say y varies directly with x to the nth power. When n equals 1, this is a linear function, y equals ax. When n equals 2, y equals a times x squared. When n equals 3, y equals a times x to the third power. From these three graphs, we can draw the following conclusions for y equals a times x to the nth power. n is a positive integers. The graph passes through the origin 0, 0. The graph goes up, which means that when x increases, y increases. And when x decreases, y decreases y equals a times x to the nth power divided by x to the nth power both sides. a equals y over x to the nth power. And also y1 over x1 to the nth power equals y2 over x2 to the nth power because the both equals a constant a. For inverse variation, y equals a times x to the negative nth power. n is a positive integers. Since x to the negative nth power equals 1 over x to the nth power, we can write inverse variation into y equals a over x to the nth power. We see y varies inversely with x to the nth power. Let's look at some graphs. When n equals 1, graph is this. When n equals 2, the graph is this. When n equals 3, graph looks like this. Based on the graphs above, we can draw a conclusion for y equals a times x to the negative nth power also equals a over x to the nth power. The graph has a horizontal asymptote line, y equals 0. Also, it has a vertical asymptote line, x equals 0. The graph goes down, which means when x increases, y decreases. And when x decreases, y increases. Constant number a equals, we know y equals a over x to the nth power times x to the nth power both sides a equals x to the nth power times y. Also, we have y1 x1 to the nth power equals y2 times x2 to the nth power because both equals a constant a. I did a practice one. Write a general variation formula for the following. Question one, v varies directly with uh, the square of uh, t. Directly means a positive uh, exponent. So we have uh, t 
to the second power v equals a times t to the second power a is a, a constant question two v varies inversely with uh, the square of uh, t inversely means uh, negative exponent t to the negative second power v equals a times t to the negative second power equals a over t squared. a is a, a constant. Question 3. f varies inversely with a t. Inversely means a negative exponent t to the negative first power. So f equals a times t to the negative first power, which means a over t. A is a constant. Question 4. F varies directly with a t. Directly means a positive exponent, so t to the first power. F equals a times t. A is a, a constant. 5. M varies directly with uh, the cube of uh, B. Directly means uh, positive uh, exponent, B to the third power. M equals A times B to the third power. A is a constant. M varies inversely with uh, the cube of B. Inversely means a negative exponent, b to the negative third power. m equals a times b to the negative third power equals a over b to the third power. a is a, a constant.